Now is the time for us to talk about the database and table structure for our to-do app here. For our application here, we are going to have two tables. The first one is going to be users table, as you can see there. In our users tables, we are going to have columns. The first column is we'll have a first name, then second column, last name, username, password, location, and gender. And we also have the user ID column there, which is going to be a primary key, and it's going to be auto incremented, meaning that we don't have to worry about it. So the database system will take care of that each time we add items or we add users, it will increment the IDs. Okay. So for instance, if the first time we add James, the user ID is going to be one. If we add Anna, the user ID is going to be two. If we add Paul, the user ID is going to be three and so forth. And next we'll have, of course, the tasks table, which has task ID also, uh, task ID as the primary key, which will also be auto incremented. And then we have the date created description and a user ID column here. So the same thing here. But then you notice something very interesting here. We have this user ID uh, on users table as well as user ID on tasks. What's happening here is what we call a, a relational database schema here. What are we doing here? We are relating these two tables, right? Because a user obviously will have tasks. Okay. So what this allows, well, first of all, allows us to connect these two tables that otherwise would have been very unrelated. Okay. And secondly, it allows us to have a way for us to maintain data integrity as we delete and add items into each or both tables. Notice they have to be the same name because now at the top we have users uh, table that would be our parent table. Task is a child table because it's referencing the user ID column from our users table. Okay, that's what we call the foreign key. So essentially, we are just relating these two tables so that now, if friends want to reference, for instance, any user from table, from users table, we can reference from our tasks table easily, right? Because now you notice the user IDs are the same as the user ID that we have at the top. We're saying user James, for instance, has user ID one. So when we add this, what happens then user ID is added inside of our foreign key column as one because that now this one is referencing what is referencing James because he has user ID one. Okay. So this is the structure that we are going to put together for our database tables. So we're able to add tasks into our database from our app. Let's go ahead and create our database and these two tables.